Hear what you think. We'd like to see you embrace it. I know the community would like to see you embrace it. One of the things that we really struggle with here in England County is one of the most beautiful counties in the state. But from a recreational standpoint, we have very little access to the waterways. And public lands are hard to find. So when I want to do something with my children, it's not as easy <coughs> as it is in other areas where you have more public areas to, to go to do this, this type of thing. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's a, that's a good way to open this discussion, uh, to let you know that we want to work with you. We'd <coughs> like to see you uh, step in as the rightful custodians of this corridor. We'll help you in any way we can. Any questions? So what you want for the county to pay off the other hundred thousand dollars a year? We we as a nonprofit <coughs> organization simply want to yes eliminate that debt. Um, again, it's it's nothing pressing to us. We we've done, been doing the same thing we've been doing since 1996. But this, what's prompted this, honestly, is this change in our commission here, the change in the ownership. Um, you know, I believe it's time. I believe that we go back to 1996 and we start this again. Let's try this again. The time's come to just wipe this lake clean, let you know what's happened. <coughs> oh. See what you think. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. What would Lee County's portion of that debt be? About 70% of, I think, 11.6 miles. So, so it would be 11, yeah, 70% of 100,000. Mm -hmm. About 70,000. Yeah, no, you know, we're not talking about, you, you You talk to us, we'll work with you. It's not anything that, uh, you want to do it all at once, that's fine. You want to structure something, we can structure something. Look, everything's tight right now, we understand. I, I'm just, you know, we all, everybody on my board, we, we've got practices to run and businesses to run. We just simply don't have the expertise to put together the organization to develop this out. One of our board members has told me, because I, I tend to be impatient, that time was always on our side. And it is. And as you look around you and just look at what other communities are doing and how they're developing out these rail trail systems, you as commissioners, when you meet with these people you know, on a regular basis, I ask them, what's been your experience with this rail trail? What has it meant to your community? And you're going to get good answers, and I already know that. You know, but now I've got a commission that will absolutely listen. Okay, and do what's in the best interest of the community, because you don't have somebody knocking at your head saying, I don't want this stuff. And that was the case in the past. You said there were grants available, but you said there were matching grants. What type of match are we talking about? 50 percent? No, in some cases you're talking about six to one, eight to one. Um, and Alan can help you with that. The, the funds available for this are pretty substantial. Um, you know, it just, it, like everything else, a lot of paperwork <laughs> involved in, in, in chasing that money down. So a municipality would, is experienced in that. And uh, I'm sure Al can uh, check with people who've done it and other, other municipalities who've developed these out and can just follow them off. And Lee County, by the way, as I understand it, has not used uh, a bunch of funds like Albany has with their riverfront program. But this can eventually tie into the riverfront program just to let you know where this runs, because I did discuss that. This runs from the switching station under, under the Jefferson Street Bridge. You know, that big high bridge. It runs across Monroe, directly behind and adjacent to Palmyra Park Hospital. Crosses Slappy, um, at where the FEMA station was torn down. Um, then goes underneath the uh, bypass, across Palmyra Road, behind where the old Kimnut building used to be. Then across Lido Road right by Grand Island, then across Fussell Road, and then on through Oakland Plantation to Army. <coughs> very, very beautiful areas. 
as you envision this going forward, you have mixed use. The way, the experience that we see on these trails is people use them where they live. You know, people will, will go, and, you know, kids will bike close to where they are. Their mom will jump out and go past here, past there. <coughs> out in the rural areas, you might want to develop an equestrian trail adjacent to, you know, a, a hard trail. In town, downtown Albany might want to build it more for inline skating or something like that. So you've got mixed uses for a trail system, and that's where the tra trail design expertise comes in. But as you travel and look at these trails across our state, you know, across the country, what you're going to see is sort of a mixed use. Very few people go from one end of the trail to the other. The people that do that go to that trail as a destination. They pack the bikes on the car and they spend the tramp they, they plan on spending a weekend on that trail. When we did the early research, we, we actually found out when we had a consultant come in that one of the biggest draws in Lee County and Terrell County was, was the Audubon draw. We evidently have a lot of bird life here I didn't know about, you know, because I don't concentrate on it. I know it's a beautiful place, but that would evidently be a draw here in this area. It is a green space. Okay? Um, you can course would want to develop it and enhance um, whatever green space, valuable green space, nesting areas, what came in and B and R. There are lots of ways to structure this um, so that it not only is an asset but also can be a benefit in other ways to the county. Easements. Easements is easy. You can't, you know, build anything that would impede future transportation. Uh, but you certainly can build trailheads, restrooms, those kinds of things um, for parking. In fact, one of the great good places is going to be around Armina Road because it's 100 foot wide, 50 feet from either line, from the middle, from the center line of the railroad, except certain areas like where Armina Station was, and there's 200 feet wide for a long stretch. So looking at the map, and we can share that with you later, there's lots of potential for a lot of things, especially in the Lee County section. The Arctic County section actually is frankly much more complicated, especially down the road. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. In your opinion, in the financially strapped times, uh, which would you find the most necessary for the rails, the trail, or providing adequate fire and air service for everyone in Lake County? You get into another opinion of mine, which the city of Lee and South Lee County needs to be incorporated, but that's another subject, so I won't go there. I'm just asking how, that how, how the you as a taxpayer want your money spent. I, I think that the problem we have in Lee County, and this, again, I'm drifting, is that it's a lot of territory, but you've got a city in the south end of this town that needs services. And we try to spread that money awfully thin. Uh, I, I think certain areas of the county ought to pay less than other areas of the county who are getting these services, but that's just my opinion. I can't agree with you on that. All right. Anything else? Thank you, Bob. Appreciate you coming. Appreciate it. Mr. Sam Johnson, Mr. Paul Clayton. Thank 